Hey, today I'm going to take a piece of paper and a pair of scissors and I'm going to teach you how to make a simple jack-o'-lantern. Now you can use a bigger paper if you want. A couple of tricky steps, so pay attention. All right, I'm going to sing you the song first. It's called Mr. Jack-o'-lantern. What is this I'm making? Do you know? See my busy fingers. See it grow. See, I fold this part down. These two holes are eyes that look so big and wise. And this three cornered hole is the nose. Uh, mouth I'll make right here underneath. It ought to have some big grinning teeth. It's plain to be seen. It will soon be Halloween. And this is Mr. Jack lantern everybody knows <laughs> pretty cool huh all right watch again take a paper fold it in half once you do that you're gonna cut out a pumpkin shape like an apple in half so it's gonna be taking on the shape sort of like this see then when you open it up it's got a pumpkin shape then for the eyes, you're going to make a line, sort of this way, and after you fold the line, you are going to cut out a little half football shape or a circle, it's whatever you want to do. Okay, then you open it back up again, and you cut out the triangle, see, like so. And that'll give you the nose, like so. Now, the teeth are a little tricky. You can make square teeth. I like to make big old teeth. So I, I do them really weird like this. The more jagged and the crazier, the better. Because I like creepy things like Jack Skellington. I like creepy things. So I make creepy teeth that almost looks like flaming fire. And then you don't cut it all the way through. You've got to leave the crease for here the nose and then be underneath the mouth. You see how the crease is there? And then it may take some practice, but you can make a variety of jack-o'-lanterns and they all come out kind of different. Yes, they do. Kind of cool, huh? All right, well, have fun doing that and I'll post some other things up for Halloween later. See ya. Bye.